The next that I see right here is another one from the Mosh. And it's I'll die for the wind. I have never even seen that suggestion, I believe. Like the one from Queen, the Queen medley. I've seen that suggestion before. But this one, I can't remember seeing this in suggestions. <laughs> it's... Uh, Okay, so where there's multiple subtitles I see. I'll die for the wind of the mountains. Okay, so that was not a full title before. Let's see here. Here we go. Oh, so he's pay playing the... Is it Dobra? Or is it, not a, is it not that instrument? It looks like it, but... And where is this? It reminds me a bit of the beginning of Stranger 2. The, the background noises. Oh, Bridge John, hi there. I love the Middle Eastern kind of vibe that he brings in his voice. He has so many possibilities when it comes to that. And I saw that, I heard that in his video of uh, the story of One Sky as well. Certain parts sounded very Arabic kind of like, or like Middle East at least. And this is a bit similar. Like Egyptian kind of sometimes. I hear a bit of rhythm there. Man, the runs that he has in be in between, it's so it it still baffles me how he does that. Man, that was almost some some kind of yodeling too. Armenian folk song. Okay. Thanks, Kristen. Oh, man. Like, it's not only the way he sings it, but also there are some kind of... How would you say it? Songs are written in a certain key, but there are some different kind of notes that you can use in, in uh, when a song is written in a certain key. But there are some different modulations. And this is not your regular key that is written in. Pentatonic scales, yeah, that's what I that's what I meant. And that's some kind of variation that we hear right here in a song like this. That's also why it sounds Middle Eastern or Egyptian or Arabic or whatever. Uh, or Armenian, uh, apparently. That's what th gives this feel, this this sound. Thanks for the reminder, Kent. There. <laughs> okay, let's continue. Oh, <laughs> 
this guy is so this is nuts. This is nuts. Well, I've I've seen the theory behind pentatonic scales too, Ken, but it has been a long time. It has been a long time. So, plus it was in Dutch, not in English. So, yeah. But I mean, thanks for the reminder. I'll I'll memorize it. Okay, let's keep going. It's just I mean. Man, it's hard in the video from Mademoiselle Hyde, was it? I don't know. But when the audio quality is not optimal, it's sometimes hard to hear the full technique that he is using. But it seems pretty unique what he's just doing right now. Plus, it's kind of more moaning in this part. It's not really very open. <laughs> Man. It is also we see the mush using his hands a lot when he use it when he does these runs, these extras with his voice. It's like an effect of it, but it's not. I don't know if it's something that he does automatically or if it's conscious, a conscious decision to do that because it helps him. But still, I mean, the technicalities of this are just unbelievable. <laughs> Almost an improvised piece. It sounds improvised. Oh my god. Man. Spasiba. Thank you. So yeah, that's part it's it sounded like some kind of improvisement, but I don't know if it is. I'm sure he's able to do it, like, improvised or not. I just can't. It's, he's, he's too much. He should, he's too much. He should make a music video for that song. Yeah. I mean, he can do that for all the songs that he brings. I mean, I guess it was improv improvisation. I mean, yeah, it, it, it just a guess, but it sounds improvised. But, like, very good improvised. <laughs> Man, okay, so that was that.